Turn around. Turn around. Turn the fuck around. Thank you. Should they be talking? Did I like glitched it? <laughs> uh oh. What is he gonna do? That works. Why What's knock? This? Why Thomas fucking Hickey? knock? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! Okay, this is gonna suck. I hate chase sequences, man. <laughs> I'm gonna fill this part. There you go, perfect. Be still, you will do no more harm. You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong boy, I. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. <sighs> That's awesome. Me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was gonna handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Should get in on it. Yeah, and what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. 
Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel Weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even taught me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Smells even worse than it looks. <laughs> Oh, with the controller. Let's go to bed on this hard ass bed. Get up! Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. Oh, if you get stuck, thank you. What are you looking at, half breed? You not understand English? That it? Well, hurry the fuck up. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Okay. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. It's a shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Not really. Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You've the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I'm an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to play. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. You could ask the crump back to help you. Nasty business. Okay, let's try and move it over here. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. Well, how 
Hope's mortality has a gentle. Let me know if he's You're worried. serious, aren't you? Dead. We could bring his brother come to think of it. Very well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. That loud finch stole it. it. Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. At the old flower. John and Robert were both so I'm gonna go to upstairs, see you. I'll be right back. Upstairs. Something of a philosopher says he that he's not so bloody high in the air. So I mean something of a pugilist may plain my point upon his person. All right, scoundrels, back in your cells. All right, Don't go back. <laughs> Jesus, this key is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Ben? Are you offering? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that. Are you offering? Guess we don't go that way. Fuck off. See what's up with this key. Oh no, that would be familiar Your key is useless. What do you mean? You did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged <coughs> a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here, just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? You might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. <sighs> How do I reach the warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You might you need have to, to pick go a to fight. The what? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. 